Okay, good morning everyone. So uh, today I'm having another uh, What's in the Box haul. Uh, as I said in my last video, I've uh, been away uh, for three months uh, over in Qatar at work. And uh, during that time I have been having to think about of uh, things I want to maybe try or change or new filters or whatever else uh, tickled my fancy at the time of uh, looking at all the uh, various videos and, and things like that. So uh, I placed an order uh, for a few items uh, and these boxes here arrived. So uh, why don't we take a look and see uh, what was on the shopping list. Let's start with the big box as I do fully anticipate that this contains uh, two storage boxes as you can never have enough storage and uh, I found the ones that are bought previously uh, are rather, uh, rather good uh, sturdy boxes with the little square foam insets that you can cut out uh, to the shape so these are mounted with paper cutting that under my desk So these geoptic uh, storage boxes are uh, tough, durable plastic with the foam inserts and uh, three of these already and uh, I've been trying to keep uh, the telescope equipment grouped uh, so I've got one for the lenses, one for uh, cameras and planning and adapters and all sorts of things so this is a geoptic with a liner that you can pop out all the squares and uh, get it to fit your equipment so I purchased another one of them in fact I purchased two of them and the other one is down here in the box so I won't open that because it's the same all right so let's do is a table there so in here, I think this might be a counterweight. Uh, at the moment, uh, I knew the rattle was the rattle that I opened in the last video. It's significantly heavier than the edge, and uh, I wasn't convinced I had enough counterweights. So as I was putting an order in, I just put an order in for another one. Just to be on the safe side. Oh, that's not kind of it. So, in here, what have we got? Filter. So we've got Banner H Alpha 2 inch filter. So that'll fit nicely into the ZW filter drawer that I already have. And I've also got a Banner uh, UVIR cut filter. Again, another 2 inch. So with these, uh, I was looking at uh, particularly the, the H alpha, uh, using that for doing some other um, layer swaps or luminescence or, or luminance, I should say. And uh, the UVIR, uh, I thought I'd give that a cut as well, a try as well. Um, I believe that uh, it can make a significant difference uh, to some of the types of imaging. Uh, particularly if you're looking at Venus uh, with the gas clouds, you need the, the UV IR to, to, uh, to bring up any detail on there. But uh, I thought we'll give them a try. Then I have got, as I said just a second ago, I've got a ZWO filter drawer uh, at the moment. So I purchased uh, another couple of actual drawer inserts so that I can have the, the filters permanently mounted uh, on the drawers. So as I've got a UHC filter uh, at the moment and uh, I can't remember what the other filter is I've got but uh, I bought uh, some filter drawers for that hey, what have we got in here? ah ok so this is a field rotator so one of the things obviously with the astro cameras being screwed in is the, uh, the position 
of the camera. I know it's not, this isn't a rotator. I can't remember what this is. I bought it for some reason, I can't remember what it was now. Oh well, I'm sure I'll figure out, I'll have that written down in a bit of paper somewhere. It's an M48 2S adapter. I wonder if that was to allow something to rotate internally within that. To be honest, I can't honestly remember now. Okay. I uh, bought another dovetail clamp, uh, as we've seen maybe in some of my other videos or on the blogs, uh, getting equipment to mount onto the various dovetails. It's handy to have uh, these clamps if I'm trying out different things, and I've, I've used all my other clamps already for various different reasons, so I've bought another one of them. Uh, so, here we go, uh, the batter vary lock. So I saw these uh, mentioned in, I can't remember whose video it was now, that these are useful for trying to optimise the back focal distance when setting up new equipment and effectively it's an adjustable back, back, adapter, uh, back focus adapter and this one uh, is a 20mm to 29mm vario lock T2 extender so you can adjust uh, the back focus uh, as you're trying to optimize it and once you've found the correct distance then obviously you can uh, purchase a fixed um, adapter of the right size that you need rather than having millions and millions of adapters uh, while you're trying to work out what you're doing so that's a 20 to 29 baby lock i also bought a slightly larger one uh, so this is the Veilock 46 uh, T2 extension and I think this one does, oh, what was the number again? It does a 29mm to 46mm uh, adjustment. So when we're setting up the cameras and things like that, we'll see how that goes. Okay. Next up, what we got in here, TSHD M48, oh, so this is for the Edge 11, uh, this is the fixed adapter for going on to the SCT to give you the correct back focal distance uh, on the edge. Uh, at the moment uh, I'm using a uh, whole bunch of T2 rings all stacked and uh, this just gives you a lot cleaner uh, meter solution of the correct uh, distance. Um, I think it's 90, I don't know if it's in the box, I think it is, I think it's, I think it's around 90 something millimetres uh, and then obviously you may get your standard 55 back focus from there, uh, it takes you up to the required 146.05 millimeters uh, for the edge uh, 11. So that's that. Okay, what have we got in here? It doesn't say on the little box. Ah, okay, yes. So this is an atmospheric dispersion compensator. I've seen it mentioned uh, on a video that uh, Agios was doing in, in, in Nicosia, uh, up at the observatory up there, and he was highly recommending these for uh, particularly the planetary. Uh, so what you have is two lenses inside and you can adjust the position of the lenses to compensate for the dispersion uh, in the atmosphere. And uh, certainly on the talk he was doing and the demonstration he was doing, the live views, uh, it certainly did make a difference. So uh, I thought I would uh, 
acquire one of them and uh, give it a try maybe next time I'm doing some planetary. Alright, what have we got next? We have a T. S2M48S, so this is just an adapter, and uh, for going from two different sizes. I can't remember what I needed this for. Uh, one of the pieces of equipment uh, I didn't have the correct ring, so I don't know what that was for. I can't remember what it was for, but that's what it was for. Uh, okay, we've got a Celestron Focus Retrofit uh, Focuser Retrofit Kit. Uh, so this is required to use a Celestron focus motor, uh, which I have on the Edge 11. It doesn't directly go onto the uh, RASA. You need the retrofit kit, so that's what that's for. And here I've got another camera, so this is a WASI 174 Mini. Uh, I ordered this up uh, to see, or to do, uh, Auto guiding. So I have got other uh, smaller cameras, but this one uh, was recommended for the auto guiding uh, with the off-axis guider uh, due to having a larger uh, sensor size. Uh, it helps you find uh, or be able to get a guide stars uh, in the uh, DHD in the in the window. So that was that. Uh, this is the large uh, SCT HHD adapter for the off-axis guider. Uh, this goes straight onto uh, the primary hub uh, of, of the edge when doing the off-axis guiding. So that's what that was for. And in this box, it's heavy. Oh, this is the dovetail, uh, sorry, it's a counterweight. So, one of the issues with the edge, uh, despite of sitting forward, uh, fully forward on the dovetail uh, rail uh, on the mount, uh, it's just still back heavy, so you can't get the right uh, balance. Uh, so this is a dovetail counterweight system that will mount on the front of the telescope to try and help uh, balance uh, on that axis. So let's see how that goes. And at the moment, it's fully forward on the rail and uh, it's still back heavy, so I can't get uh, any further balance without that at the moment. So that was that box. Okay, next up, box number two. So in here this came late because it was on back order. And we have a Celestron off axis guider system and a bag of Haribo Cola Balls. Lovely. That's breakfast started. So this will be going on to the Edge 11. I'll be doing a separate video on that. So it's less strong off-axis guider. So that works. Next up, box number Wi-Fi adapter for the Celestron CGX, so this allows you to use the Sky Portal software on your mobile device. Uh, so I'll give that one a try. In here we've got the Celestron focus motor. This is going to be going on to the RASA 11, as I've already got a, a Celestron focus motor on the edge. And quite happy, quite pleased with that, so I didn't want to uh, uh, take it off and have to keep moving it back and forth. So I bought another focus motor for there. 
I did consider the ZWO, uh, but at the moment uh, I'm happy with the, the Celestron gear, so I'm going to stick with that. Skysync GPS module uh, for the Celestron software, the CW Celestron PWI uh, uh, software. Uh, that helps you get uh, the, the more accurate uh, mount positioning, uh, altitude uh, and uh, location. Uh, for setting up the system, it's not mandatory, but it uh, certainly it gives a higher uh, tolerance to positioning. And lastly, in this box, I have got the Celestron uh, 0.7 focal reducer uh, for the Edge 11. Uh, so this will take it down from the uh, 20, uh, sorry, 2,800 millimeter down to the 1,900 and whatever 0.7 times 2,800 is. And this is quite a hefty uh, piece of kit here. So this effectively screws straight onto the back end of the Edge 11. Onto it in the rail, in the rail. And then you can screw your camera optical train uh, onto the, the rear end. And the beauty about that is that even though we've inserted this into the optical train, it moves the back focus to uh, the front edge and you remain 146.05 millimeters. Uh, so you don't have to change any of the uh, back focus adapters and things uh, on your optical train. So I'm looking forward to give that a try, uh, particularly with the Edge 11, uh, certain objects uh, just won't fit uh, into your field of view and uh, the, the 0.7 reducer will help to uh, pull everything uh, into the image. Uh, I think the likes of the Andromeda, which is a massive uh, galaxy, is one of those candidates. So last box, this will be the counterweight. Uh, as I mentioned, I didn't think I had enough counterweights uh, on my systems uh, for use with the, the, the RASA, uh, so I ordered up uh, another counterweight. Uh, that's exactly what it is. Another 7.7 kg counterweight. And there we have it, one 7.7 kg counterweight. And that's it all, no more. So I look forward to getting some of this equipment set up uh, in future videos. And uh, hopefully that's enough shopping for the time being. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, like and subscribe, uh, or down thumbs if, uh, if there's anything you didn't like. And of course in the comments, please leave any feedback, questions. And uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Clear skies.